Learning from your mistakes is one of the most valuable things you can do when you're starting out with a hobby. There's a lot of common wisdom around this. The fear of failure and the fear of making mistakes is definitely something that blocks people from starting out with hobbies they would otherwise enjoy. Especially in things like Warhammer, making a mistake while painting can potentially ruin a fairly expensive model. All mistakes are fixable, and making those mistakes and learning from those mistakes is extremely valuable to improving whatever hobby you choose to pursue. This entire channel is built around that. Paul is bad at stuff is the first step to Paul being kind of good at stuff. So these mistakes I make during either building, painting, or playing Warhammer or whatever other hobby I'll feature on this channel are all lessons that I will learn and take forward into future to get better. Show before you is the deployment from a recent game I played, Necrons vs Drukhari. Once again, I am the Drukhari versus once again Steve, who is now playing Necrons. It's 2000 points, Tempest of War. In the last game I featured on this channel, I talked about a move that I made in the first turn, which basically cost me the entire game. For a brief recap, due to the cards that I drew from Tempest of War, I decided to take a boat full of blood brides and a succubus directly into the face of the enemy first turn. Did not get the charge off, which did not lock down what I wanted to lock down, meant that boat got shot, meant everything inside got shot, and basically I lost a whole lot of my army before it could even do anything. So with that in mind, I made sure not to make that mistake again. This time, due to the cards from Tempest of War, I took a raider full of my Blood Brides and Succubus into the enemy first turn. Didn't get the charge off, we mentioned it didn't lock down what wanted to do, which meant it got shot, everything aside died, and I lost a whole bunch of my army before it could do anything. I honestly do not know what's wrong with me. These Blood Brides have literally never killed anything, because they just refuse to get into combat because I am such a bloody idiot. So let's go over what happened, and why this happened, and what I was trying to do. Because realistically, I was actually learning the lessons from the last video. We'll get a couple of little bits of admin just so you can understand what's going on. I start the game with one CP, and in my command phase, I would gain another one, up to two CP. This is important, so make sure to write that down. I once again got the first turn, and I drew no retreat, no surrender. Last time, I didn't want to move a bunch of stuff because I didn't want to fail, no retreat, no surrender. Not this time. This time I'll spend a CP to get rid of it and draw something else. Because of the shorter no man's lander, because Steve put a lot of stuff right at the front of his deployment zone, I definitely wanted to get into his face. I know it didn't work last time, but I had a lot more things that I could actually gun at him with, so this time I thought it would work. I remembered to use enhanced aether sails on this raider, which contains an archon, five wishes, and five incubi. Enhanced aether sails cost me my last CP, so I was down to zero CP at this point. All of my raiders are black hearts, so that means that my raiders can advance and charge, and exactly what I wanted to do with this one, I could Contains my succubus and blood brides. With my shooting, I took out two of his heavy destroyers, which is really nice for me. And my first boat charges in, locked down quite a lot of stuff by power sliding into this wall. I learned my lesson from last time, made sure to get a lot closer so the charge wasn't as bad. It was only a six inch charge. I wish I got a bit more on the advance, but six inch charge, very doable. This is the most important charge. If I get into his warriors, it means they have to fall back. So even if these destroyers turn around and blow this boat up, Anything that jumps out is going to be safe from the warriors. Enough of the things survive. I'll be able to just charge him with the Blood Brides and the Succubus, take those warriors out and start really wrapping around. Here we go. Six inch charge. Nothing to worry about. almost poetic if I just hadn't spent that CP to get rid of no retreat no surrender and just failed it without actually having to spend the CP I would have potentially been able to re-roll it and whilst it wouldn't be guaranteed a six inch re-rollable charge is pretty good odds this might not have been the game losing play I made a lot of other mistakes in this game which definitely cost me I think Drukari are just one of those armies that are a difficult army to pilot they do an absolute truckload of damage but fall over to a stiff breeze. Those T3 bodies really don't protect against much, and putting them into bad positions early doors means that I lose a lot of their value. Overall, I am struggling to find success with Drukari. Not that I don't want to play Drukari anymore, I still find them a lot of fun, it's just I'm making a lot of mistakes, and it's going to take me a while to actually start to really learn how to pilot these properly, and really get some wins under my belt. So I think the takeaway from this video is that you're going to make mistakes if you're new to whatever hobby, whether that's Warhammer or anything else. But when those mistakes happen, just make sure you actually do learn from them. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you, you don't get fooled again. Let me know in the comments below about any mistakes that you seem to continually keep making over and over again. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.